All right, here we go. We're talking about 6.1, and we're talking about discrete random variables and the difference between them and continuous random variables. Well, discrete random variables take a, a set, a fixed set possible values with gaps between. All right, um, so when you're talking about uh, people in your family, this is a very common example. These are discrete random variables. If you surveyed a bunch of families and find out how many people are in there, well, you either have maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, eight, I don't know, 20 different people in your family, um, which are all fixed set of possible values. Continuous can take on any value in that interval. A lot of times when you talk about time, weight, um, a bunch of different values in a, a continuous graph of distribution of values that could be. So that's the difference between discrete and continuous. Discrete is a fixed number. Okay, continuous can take on any value. Many times when we talk about discrete random variables, they are drawn with using histograms. So there's a probability on the side, and the values in the, bit, in the bottom on the horizontal axis, and you draw it with a histogram. We also can find what's known as an expected value, or the mean of a discrete random variable. This can be used by using um, our mean value right here, um, which is a mu. All right, mean equals the sum of the proportion times the expected value. And let's go through an example to show you and illustrate this. Okay, so Indiana University Bloomington posts a grade distribution of courses online. Suppose we choose a student at random from a recent semester at the university business course. The student's grades are either four point with an A and random variable X with variable distribution. Okay, so you need to have a zero, one, two, three, and a four. Okay, so write the event that a student gets a C for this. Now, right here, um, find this probability. Well, each one of these has to add up to be one, all right, from our previous one. That's a probability distribution. And so when we have here, if we take one minus 0 0.011, all right, plus, and I'll just add those together, um, 0 0.032. So we're going to add up all these different values together, um, 0.362. Two and then 0.457. So we add all those together, okay, and we subtract that from one. We can figure out a problem. So if you do that, all right, you subtract that from one, you get an answer of, all right, um, 0.138. All right, and so that's a probability of getting a two. All right. Um, with that. So if this is x, so this would equal the probability of x equaling 2. And that's what we have right there. Now, explain in words what the probability of x being greater than or equal to 3 means. Um, well, what is that probability? Well, that would be the probability of um, so the group is a random variable with the probability. So line suppose this student is chosen. So the probability of randomly selecting a student probability of random selecting a student um, with a grade of a B or better. All right, better. And that's what a three means to be or better, because that is an A, B, C, D, and unfortunately an F there on a four point scale. All right, and what is that probability? Um, and that probability is going to equal this. Um, well, we're going to add those two together. So the probability of X being greater than or equal to three is going to equal. All right, 0.362, because we're going to include 3. And better than that would be 0.457. And so if we add those two together, and we're going to have, um, which is going to equal 0.819. So probably if I'm expecting a student with a great point um, is 0 0.819. And that's what we found right there. Okay. Now, in the next part, it says make a histogram and describe the shape of this. Um, our histogram, okay, we're going to have zero, we're going to have one, we're going to have two, we're going to have three, and we're going to have four here. Our different values are going to probably be, I'm going to go 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 
10.5 right here. And so when we have this, this is going to be the grade. And so if we start with probability of 1, so at 0, it's going to be a pretty low, and I'll just put that there. A 1 is going to be 3, all right, 0 0.03, so it's going to be a little higher, maybe a little too high. All right, we found this one to be 0.13, so it's going to be right above there. Um, 0.34, so 0.34 is right about there. And then 0.45, so it's going to be right about there. And so what we have here is this described as shape. Um, shape of the probability distribution of grades is skewed to the left. All right, skew to the left because we have a tail to the left. All right, skew to the left, and that's what we have. All right, well, I hope this helps you out in figuring out probability distribution, and good luck and good luck in the rest of the problems.